All right, so we have the product rule here, the rule for differentiating a product to two functions. This is making us stronger. There are many more functions you can find derivatives of now. How about quotients? Let's find how to differentiate a quotient of two functions. Well, again, I'll write down what the answer is and then we'll try to verify it. So there's a quotient. Let me write this down. There's a quotient of two functions. And here's the rule for it, so I always have to think about this and hope that I get it right. U prime V minus U V prime divided by V squared. This may be the craziest rule you'll see in this course, but there it is. And I'll try to show you why it's true and see an example. Yeah, there was a hand. Sorry? Uh, what letters look the same? U and V look the same? I'll try to make them look more different. The V's have points on the bottom. The U's have little round things on the bottom. What's the new value of U? The, the value of U, the, va the value of U at X plus delta X, it's U plus delta U, right? That's what delta U is. It's the change in U when when x gets replaced by delta x. And the change in v, the new value of v is u plus delta, is v plus delta v. So this is the new value of u divided by the new value of v. v. That's, that's the beginning. And then I subtract off the old values, which are u minus v. This will be easier to work this out this, when I write it out this way. So now I will cross multiply, as I said. So I get uv. Uh, uh, plus delta u times v minus, now I'll cross multiply this way, you get uv minus uh, uh, u times delta v. And I divide all this by v plus delta v times u. Okay. Now the reason I like to do it this way is that you see the cancellation happening here. UV and UV occur twice and so I can cancel them and I will. And I'll answer these questions in a minute. Ooh, that's a V. All right, uh, good, anything else? That's what all the hands were, good. All right, so I cancel these and what I'm left with then is delta U times V minus U times delta V, and all this is over uh, V plus delta V times V. Okay, there's the difference, there's the, the change in the quotient, the change in this function is given by this formula, and now to compute the derivative, I want to divide by delta X and take the limit. So let's write that down, delta of UV divided by delta x is this formula here divided by delta x. And again, I'm going to put the delta x under these delta u and delta v, okay? I'm going to put delta x in the denominator, but I can think of that as dividing into this factor and this factor. So this is delta u over delta x times v minus u times delta v over delta x and all that is divided by the same denominator, v plus delta v times v, right? Put, put the delta x up in the numerator there. Next up, take the limit as delta x goes to zero, I get by definition the derivative of u, v, u divided by v and on the right hand side, well, um, this is the derivative u, du dx, right? times V and then U times and here it's the derivative DV DX. Now what about the denominator? So when, when delta X goes to zero, V stays the same, V stays the same, what happens to this delta V? It goes to zero again because V is continuous. So, so again, 
uh, delta, delta V goes to zero with delta X because they're continuous and you just get V times V. I think that's the formula I wrote down over there. The derivative of U times V minus U times the derivative of V and all divided by the square of the old denominator. 